How many roads must a man walk down? Many people in the world are talking about terrorism, but not so many touch those people. It was uh, very difficult, but I learned to isolate my feelings and to, to be professional. I found myself in um, very strange situations like uh, hugging female suicide bombers that yesterday could kill my own children. So when you empathize, you don't have to identify, so it's like I'm doing my work and this is part of the game. Very uh, significant interview was in 1996 when I spoke with uh, Sheikh Ahmad Yassin, the, the founder of the Hamas organization and the leader of the Hamas. He was not just the spiritual leader, he was also the operative leader. He was very open and for him, the Shahids, the martyr, he is not going to die. He's going to a next world that will be much better than this world. Something that was important that he didn't will to answer the question that if he would send his own son to blow, to blow himself on a bus in Israel. In direct way, we see that those dispatchers do not send their own children to, to, to carry out terror attacks or to blow themselves up in a, such a horrible way, but they send others to do the job. We see escalation in terrorism in the last, like, 15 years. We see it in Iraq, in Afghanistan, in Pakistan, all around the world. I think that you, you, you learn that sometimes, even if you have a very dangerous enemy, you need to find the, the roots to, to get inside him or to his heart or her heart in a very direct and human way, and that all human beings share. With the female terrorists, it's another story because many of them are coming to this field uh, from a uh, very oppressive life. Sometimes a way to, uh, an easy way to clear the name of the family. So uh, to gain honor, and respect instead of humiliation because she did something wrong in their perception. The best thing that I heard that one female suicide bomber told me that honor is like a jar. When it's cracked, it will never, the honor will never will be uh, the same way again. The honor will not be recovered like it was before. Many times, the security forces have the information that somebody is on his way to do something from his parents, from his family that want to prevent him from doing it. And sometimes they don't do with this information nothing. Many times, the mother or the father will come to the checkpoint and will say, we have a problem with our son, you need to stop him. We see there's something wrong with him. There is no father or mother in the world that want that their children will die. Not a Muslim, not a Jew, not a Christian.